Hello there, greetings. Going to continue Fallout Shelter. Seems like I got the most views for that. I don't know if I want to do this every single day in a row, but uh, I was thinking making it weekly. Oh. Certainly a nice cheerful style for the apocalypse though, isn't it? And cool, yay, the one lady here's returned. I think she has agility, right? And uh, collect all that stuff, whoop de doo and you go back to the uh, diner since you have the most agility. And what do you have? You have perception, so you're gonna go to the power plant, right? Or no, the water thing, okay. And what do you have? You have agility, so you're also gonna go to the food thing. So, okay, building two or three of the same type of room next to each other will merge them into a bigger version of the room, yay. And what do we need to do here? If we can get Med Bay. All oh, right. Yeah, getting um, intelligence for that. Let's see. Increases the number of items and pets you can hold for that. Water treatment. Okay, all that stuff. Okay. Ah, didn't mean to zoom in there. Have to scroll to the edge. I wonder. Can we use arrow keys or WASD? Yep, WASD, and probably arrow keys. Yep. Okay. So I didn't know that on the phone because that's not relevant on the phone when I had one. I mean, I do have like a TCL something but it's a piece of crap and can't run this. It can barely run the uh, chess.com's version of the chess game and even then it's like you're offline it's like oh chill out. So yeah we're low on food, low on food, yeah yeah yeah. But take 500 to upgrade that. Let's see of the characters we have who has the highest luck, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck. So yeah still Doris Johnson Let's see, can we adjust her name? Where's the way to do that? Ah, cool. I'm going to change her name to Bala Mal Doran. So yeah, there's that. She's in charge of the diner. And she can go on uh, expeditions maybe a little more. But uh, let's see, if we rush this, what's the percentage? Hmm, 33% chance of doom probably better not to. They, they can go hungry for a little bit. Want to make it so we have this at level 2 since that seems to be the limiting thing. It's always nice not to starve, you know? And, well, oh, I'm not going to say anything about how things seem to have gone so far. It, it's nice though on, uh, on Lifelog how I've already lost some friends and I didn't even say anything really. I did share a clip about one uh, character in uh, Electric Dreams. But uh, yeah, it's, it's super fun how everyone can't let anyone have any difference of opinion and they just silence each other. Oh, poor lady. Well, more colonists and she has high intelligence so once we get the med bay we'll be able to have more sim packs. <coughs> Excuse me here. So let's see here. Uh, Vault Tech Starter Pack. This only costs money, right? Uh, let's just say okay to clear that. Water treatment, med bay. So yeah, intelligence for the med bay thing. And we have a science lab that's probably also intelligence. So it, uh, yeah, eventually I'll get all these things open. I don't know for sure exactly how that's going to go, but we need more food and it's almost time to get this, right? 23 seconds? If we rush now, still 33% chance of doom versus just waiting and getting it in 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, extra crispy. And that's not very much. So yeah, maybe brushing would be a good idea. Ah well, let's see if we can send another luck unit out. Nope. Bruce Foster in water treatment. And he has high perception. So yeah, Val Maldoran's the only one that has high luck. That kind of sucks. So no other entropy eating things. I mean there's the rusty scope thing. Oh, yeah, who has, what does this do? Would it be agility, or what's the thing that, oh, no, 
she should have the level action. Equip one to alert. Okay, yep, so I guess each day that's a thing. <sighs> okay, maybe whoever has the highest agility is the agility the thing for that. For reloading quickly. Oh, that is fella. Okay, so Anna Page, you're in the restaurant. Oh, wait, yeah. So, hmm, endurance maybe then. See who has highest endurance. Because that's not one that's valued quite yet. Power generator, done. Okay, cool. More power. Yay! We really need to upgrade the food thing. Water treatment doesn't seem to have that much of a problem, but food... We need more food. In terms of food, we have no food. What the heck? I mean, can we just put another one right beside it, or does it have to be the same level already to connect to it? It's 175. Can we just build on to it? Uh, it has to be the same level, right? Upgrades. Alright, who's second highest agility? You're going over there. Endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility. So, Anna Page. Joseph's. No, he's highest in. Huh. I don't have him. Who's highest in strength? Crap, I went past it. Okay, so if you're in power generator, and she has the power armor. Judith Hall's in pot there and there. Okay, you're not really that high in that, so let's see here, just to be sure again. Yeah, restaurant she's already at. Let's put her in the other restaurant, so hopefully it will clear up the rats and stuff. Ah, the joy. So well, there's more water as much as we need it. And let's see, if we rush this, will it be better? Yeah, only that much. Yeah, not so much. Okay. So we need to upgrade that after we have 250. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Someone we ought to... She has high strength. Uh, second highest luck is Doris West. And that's not very much. Bruce Foster, Gabriel Lane, it's not very much. Hopefully we'll get more tenants soon enough. Let's see, two of six, nope. We just need more. More of everything. Uh, let's see, what level is this? Is it just level two or something? Oh, 1,500 credits to do that afterward, and at least we're keeping up with that now. Okay, now we can upgrade this. Good. There we go. And... We're still not connected to it, so I guess there's an absolute limit or something. Or did I upgrade the other one before? You think you found your dream job? Okay, well that's cool. And we can't destroy that. I don't know if it's the same level or not. It doesn't seem to show on this. So we have a second restaurant to get food with at least. If this one goes crispy, at least there's this one. I might build it out further and put some more workers there. Because this is an annoying thing. It's, it's very easy to lose everything there it seems. Alright, so... Yeah, you... I'm going to send someone else on another expedition, I think. But yeah, Ethan's at the restaurant. I want to keep everyone at the restaurant. So Joseph, maybe water treatment. We're fine on water. Perception, maybe she'll get more stuff there. How many workers do we have in water treatment, though? We have three. And this is the one... Okay. Well, let's change her name to Joan Jet. There we go, and you can have the Rusty Sculpt 44 of Doom, and I don't know, Formal Wear or Scribe Road. That increases Charisma and Agility, this one increases Luck, okay, yeah. Increasing Luck in the Wasteland of Doom, that's probably a good thing. And let's have you out there singing to the Raiders or something, I guess. 
Uh, okay, yep, that increases her stuff. We need to get that med lab at some point. So yeah, let's go explore. We have no pets to send with her, unfortunately. But there she goes, off to doom the day. Go, go, drone jet. Here we go. Hopefully she'll be okay. This doesn't seem so bad. Well, try to keep it that way as much as you can there. Oh well, let's see here. How are you doing? Scribe Road, Vault Suit, Charisma. Let's see, what places have Charisma as their limiting agent thing? That doesn't seem to do it. Here, you can be a scribe. See if that does anything good. Or wait, no! Agility increases. Agility. That's... Okay, vault suit there. And... I don't know. Okay, she's on her own here. So let's increase hers by plus two. So that ought to help, maybe. If it's going to do anything, it should do it there. We're still positive. For the moment, on everything. I collect 100 power and we get a thing. Yay. Level up. Yay. More bottle caps. Oh yeah, Nuno Forever. He asked uh, about how bottle caps work, I think. Or uh, one of the commenters in that. It's just, that's just the arbitrary commentary type thing. It's like, you know, once there's no government to back any currency, it's just anything's anything. Of course, yeah, it wouldn't work in practice. You'd pretty much just go back to trade and barter. Unless everyone agrees on something, like this has value arbitrarily, it's going to be just things that actually have value, like water, food, things to do stuff with. But, uh, yeah, it's just paper is paper, might as well have bottle caps. Although, paper is at least useful for cooking other food with, though, uh, depending on how it's made. But, yeah. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's pretty much... It slows to a halt after a while, even though it's sort of like Farmville in a way of being addictive with all the... Uh, uh, what is it? Endorphin? Like, let's see. In stories, it's usually they show something cute or happy to boost oxytocin, and then they go stressful with the cortisol. But uh, for... Clicking and winning, it's, I think, endorphins that they're playing with or something like that. Either way, it's nice to have the idea of winning, even if it's a hollow victory. It's always nice to actually be able to get things done, even if it's fake like this. Yay, games. But, yeah, real life sucks, where everything seems impossible most of the time. Hopefully things will improve, but you never know. There's always... The way things can go bad, life uh, finds a way. And then the dinosaurs have a meal. Anyway, take care everyone, and try not to go crazy. <laughs>